everyone it's Melissa today I'm doing a video on well it wasn't the video I was originally gonna do not yesterday today Saturday not yesterday Friday but the Friday before that uh, I filmed a video and was getting ready to edit it and put it up but then I got a phone call that my cousin died suddenly and this was a cousin that our mothers were sisters and were very very close they always lived with they always made sure that we lived in the same town if not next door to each other and after even after our mothers died we remained very close we spent christmas thanksgiving together other holidays we tried to meet she lives in lived in chattanooga we tried to meet regularly to you know have dinner together and she was she was an only child and I didn't have any sisters, so we were sisters to each other. So I just can't bring myself to edit that video because I was real happy, you know, and then I got that news and I will edit it again someday and, um, and put it up because I did like that video. But I thought I would just start back. I've been away for a bit. I thought I would start back with just doing something real simple and seeing how that goes quickly. Okay, so, uh, you know, everybody's watching their pennies. Unfortunately, mine and Doug's situation has not changed at all. So, <laughs> we're still counting our pennies, too. So, what, uh, what I have done is I have looked over, as I've replaced things, I've replaced them with drugstore products. And uh, so, what I have done is kind of gone over my favorite things that I have been using uh, drugstore that I really like a whole lot and that has really made uh, this time not bad uh, product wise. I have been able to continue to enjoy makeup and the things that I enjoy having so using drugstore products so I thought I would share those. I'm gonna start with two eyeshadows. They are from Revlon. I have on one of them now. Um, I just really like these. These are the Revlon Color Stay 16 hour uh, quads and I have already talked about this one, the Siren. I compared it to the Charlotte Tilbury which I think this one came out much better at five dollars and something but I don't like Charlotte Tilbury so, <laughs> so it wasn't a hard choice but the video that I did that I that I will get back to I did a comparison with this one with Viseart, and I do like Viseart, so uh, this one is precocious. It is some purples. So uh, I love these, and they stay all day. I have um, this one, the purples, right today, and it just, I mean, I can wear these all day long. At night when I take off my makeup, it's still put. It really is. Other, other makeup will be gone, but not these. Not these eyeshadows. 16 hours for sure. They're good. They're good eyeshadows. Revlon's been around a long time. I think that they're, these eyeshadows are really good. So staying on Revlon, these are two basic lipsticks that have just been around a long time that I will always buy. The red is Cherries in the Snow. I don't know how old. Not old, but I don't know how long. These, these have to have been... I just don't know what years that these were brought onto the market, but I know they've been here a long, long time. This is Cherries in the Snow. It's a beautiful pinkish red, gorgeous. Very beautiful with the Christmas season coming up. A nice, because I know a lot of people, I don't, I don't wear red like all the time. So if I'm gonna get a red, I think it's a good idea probably to go drugstore if you can because uh, then you don't feel like you're wasting money if you don't wear it any other time or wasting as much money. And the other one is Pink in the Afternoon, which, you know, it's been around at least as long as Audrey Hepburn has. Pink in the Afternoon. It's a beautiful pink color. I wear it quite frequently, as you can tell. So those are just some good basic drugstore lipsticks that I just think are, I know that I'll always want to keep them in, you know, my my arsenal, <laughs> but uh, I just think that they're really good. I can highly recommend them. These are two lipsticks I have been wearing. I have one of them on now. They are from Maybelline. They are 540 and 550. Now, the names are deceptive. One of them is, is peach, peach color, 
or a peach name, and it's, well, I'll just go ahead and tell you. It is peach buff, but it's more pink. It's a real nice nude, a real nice nude pink for not, you know, not much money, a couple of dollars, a couple of bucks. And um, these are matte and they are so creamy. And if you want to, you know, jazz them up a little bit, make them a little shiny, just add some gloss over them. But these are, these are so creamy and you can just apply them over and over and over again. And they're, they, I, I don't have real dry lips. Uh, so I don't have, I don't suffer from that. I don't even use any lip balm or anything like that. I can't imagine I just can't imagine that they would be really drying on anybody. I really like this. But anyway, the other one that's more of a peach is called Honey Pink. So it's kind of like they're, and that's the Honey Pinks. To me, it's more of a peach color. But these are just wonderful. I have, the, I have on the Honey honey Pink. No, I have on the, you yeah, have on the Honey Pink now. That's, <laughs> that's so confusing. It's kind of an orange color. But it is 550. I wear it all the time. It's a good, it's a good substitute for Tom Ford's Spanish Pink. That's why I first bought it, and I have really stuck with it. It's very creamy. Very, very creamy, and very, it just feels real moisturizing on my lips. But like I said, I don't have particularly dry lips, but I just can't imagine, even if you have real dry lips, that it would be drying on you. It's just, it's just a nice, nice lipstick. Both of these are. 550, 540, uh, pink, uh, see. <laughs> Peach Buff and Honey Pink. Very good Maybelline lipsticks. Let me go back to two eyeshadows. Perfusion. Let me tell you, I have really worn this during the COVID and they are just beautiful. I have talked about them before. $7 each. Now, they send you, for the $7, they send you a liquid eyeliner, which it was dried up, it wasn't any good. And I think a uh, primer, an eyeshadow primer, but I, I like my eyeshadow primer. But anyway, this is uh, New Nudes, yeah, New Nudes. That is a good, good substitute for Urban Decay Heat. Very, very pretty. Makes a really pretty eye. Just everything you could ever want. And they last, they blend well. I, I have no complaints with them. And look at this one, this is the Orchid one. $7, really, really nice eyeshadows. Just, uh, you know, I, I'd put these eyeshadows up just about against anybody. Look how pretty they are. Just gorgeous. So, Perfusion, those are two eyeshadows in the Revlon. These are the eyeshadows that I have been wearing all the time right now. Well, and my Urban Decay, I, I use those too because I just love Urban Decay eyeshadows. Okay, I got interrupted, but I think I was getting ready to talk about concealer. I have talked about this before, but I love this e.l.f. concealer. I'm trying to see how much I have left. This is my second one that I know of, maybe the third, but I know it's my second one. Now, it is slightly messy. It's got a big doe foot. You put it on, you know, on the opposite side, just do a couple of little dots. Periodically, you're gonna have to wipe it down. But for the price, the way it does, the way it covers, it is, it is wonderful. Now, I have a real problem with, like I'll put eyeshadow underneath here and it will fade away or get down here like that with the wrong concealer. This prevents that. It does not smear and it does, it makes it last underneath my eyes too. Absolutely love this. The co my color is medium sand. Just a nice medium color. It's just a great concealer. It doesn't take much either. It will last and last and you can't beat the price. Elf, oh, let me see the name of it. The Elf 16 Hour Camo Concealer. It's excellent. Highly recommend it. Mascara, as I said, you know, my eyelashes down here. I always have in high school. I remember I always got in the habit of zoop, zoop, like that, doing like that, because I knew that my mascara was always smeared underneath, you know, in that area down here. 
I still suffer from that, but one of the few that does not, expensive, inexpensive, is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original. Now, I don't know about the black color, but I'll use the navy or the cobalt blue or the green or the burgundy. I have all three of them. These stay put. They will not smear in the least. I absolutely love them. They don't break my lashes. They don't smear. They're nice. It separates. I just don't think you could ask for a nicer mascara. I really don't. Now, if I'm going to go high end, I like the um, Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Waterproof. That's a great mascara too. And it kind of conditions my eyelashes. I have noticed that my eyelashes kind of grow when I use that mascara, but it's a lot more expensive. So I'm doing drugstore right now, but I love this. This is a good mascara. I've tried the, I think it's the Essence that is really popular, everybody likes. It smeared so badly on me. I tried it over and over and all their, their I think they have a princess one. I mean, they have the purple and the one in the purple and different colors. I just didn't, I just didn't like it at all. I really like this. This is my drugstore pick for mascara. It really is. Okay, let me see if there's anything else. Okay, this, this brush, it is from Real Techniques. It is the Real Techniques Wear Foundation Brush. This one is great for touching up your roots. You can, you know, whether you use a powder, whether you use a eyeshadow, whatever, you know, brow color, whatever you use to touch up your roots, then this is the brush to use. It is firm, and I'll tell you what, you just, you just go to town on those roots with this brush. Now, you really can. Even if you use a spray-on, you know, they have those that spray on to cover up your roots, Blend it out with this and it will be so natural. I love it. This has held on and just been great. It's really a good one to really blend out any root color or apply any root color. I really like this brush for that. Okay, speaking of roots, I have not been to the salon. Gosh, has it been six months? Last time I went was either the end of February, beginning of March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Yeah, about almost six months. So I have been coloring my hair at home. I have been using the, and let me, I, I just, I didn't save my box again. I keep thinking I'm going to save my box to show, but I didn't, but I'll put a picture up here. It is the Revlon Color Silk Beautiful Color and I am in the color 74 Medium Blonde. I like it. I really do. It is a very nice substitute for not being able to go to the salon. Uh, I miss, I do miss my highlights, but what do you do? <laughs> I just, I, I like this, and I'm not gonna try to attempt highlights on my own hair, so I really like this, this color a whole lot. It's kind of just a Medium Blonde. A little bit of the gold kind of comes out, you know, from probably from the gray and uh, it's just I've just really enjoyed using it and it's a great price so I have really been tickled with my drugstore hair color so that is it that is it thank you so much for watching it's been a hard week I'm not gonna lie but I'm still determined to always always find the joy in everything and I have wonderful wonderful memories of my cousin sharing so I loved her dearly and um, I appreciate everybody on Instagram that has really been so supportive and really reached out to me. I'm very, very grateful. So anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend, a good Labor Day, and uh, I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.